Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today we're going to be learning how to build a, well it's basically from Red Alert 3, it's the Multi-Gunner IFV or Infantry Fighting Vehicle. It's that, it's that small kind of jeep type thing that um, when you put units in it actually changes. So that's why I've got all these different versions. Pretty cool. <laughs> all of them look like they've got oversized guns but that's absolutely fine. We've got the missile one here, just a standard missile one. Now I've roughly base them off the ones that are actually in the game but at the same time I've tried to just make them quite varied I've only done five but I'm sure you guys can come up with loads of others so yeah missile one we've got a crane type one here we've got more of a tank gun type one machine gun type one which um, you can actually run up here and, and get to the top here like that also got this just dual cannon type one which is when I was running out of ideas for it so yeah <laughs> pretty simple quite a nice little design um, I think it actually look all right you actually cut off the top as well and just have it as a jeep that might work as well so what you're going to need is black wool you're going to need a stone button you're going to need never brick slab never brick stairs blue wool black stained glass black stained glass pane gray carpet and a button and that's a wooden button so let me get a good shot here and let's switch over to default show you guys what it looks like in that okay so here it is in default still looks pretty cool i think um, obviously the never brick isn't as nice because it's got that kind of purplish red tint I guess but still looks pretty cool so obviously you guys can put it in any color that you want or any color variation and make red ones yellow ones green ones pink ones sure why not purple yeah any of them but um, let's switch over to LD modern which is the text pack I'm using and we'll get started on the tutorial okay so let's get started so if we just find a nice free space here now uh, we're just gonna place down a black piece of wool miss one black piece of wall, then go one, two, three, go on to the fourth, so you've got a free block gap right here, same on the other side, put that down, get your stone button, put those on the outside, there you go, just like that, grab your never brick slab, I'm just going to put this in the middle, and bring it all the way to the front, right here, and then add one on top like that, on the front wheel watch, we're just going to have a black, well not a black, a never brick uh, slab, never brick slab, then how's it gonna yeah let's just grab a stair and put this across here and a stair going across here like that we're gonna have two pieces of blue wool just in here to add a little bit of color behind the stair we're gonna have two pieces of blue two pieces of blue and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a never stair same on the other side never stair we have two pieces of blue on the back which just overhangs as you can see here Bit of an overhang. I can actually fill in here as well. Put another never brick stair there. See on the other side? Another never brick stair like that. Blue wall's gonna go here and here. And this is you can see is like the little cab area. You can go inside this one and if you wanted to you could actually cut through uh, this back section to allow you to get in. Uh, now if we grab our black stained glass, we're just gonna put one here, here, here. And then with our stained glass pane, put it on the side there put that on the side there just like that okay and then what you're gonna do is if you grab your never brick stair it's just gonna go on top of this one we're gonna just have one going this way then around the back we're gonna have one that way then here we're gonna have one this way so a little bit strange but anyway <laughs> let's just put a slab on top of this one and a slab on top of this one and on the front we're just gonna have three slabs going across it like this really simple grab your actually we can grab something else as well we need to grab some string there we go grab some string put that in here and we're going to have our grey carpet just on top of these parts parts like this and I think there's actually yeah there is a blue stripe so just in the middle put a blue stripe instead and then also grab your grey again put it on top of this one just makes it a little bit different with the little hood I guess um, just mix, mix things up and then for the door I just put one in here and one in here like that so if we just grab some well not some but um a sign <laughs> if we just grab a sign put one on the front here one on the front here and underneath these parts just put in a sign like that and on the back we're just going to put signs straight across and you can decide to put that one in if or not i'm actually going to take mine out and do the same on the other side there there and there like that and well uh, what I'll do is I'll just go over a couple of these I guess so what have I done 
And if I just grab this, there we go. This one's really easy. All you're going to do is just... Is that a slab? Yeah, slab, okay. <laughs> All you're going to do is just go build up here like this, solidly. And put a red piece of wall on the front. Put a button on those. And then you're going to have stairs on the back. That's it. <laughs> Pretty simple. Um, so that's the one that I did for the main one. That's probably the most common out of all of them. What I'll do is I'll just have a look at this one. So this one, I've got the stair wrapping into this point. Go up with two pieces of yellow wool. And then we just go diagonal one up, one. Then you're going to have two going across. Then one going down. And all I did is I just put a tripwire hook on the front. And we've also got levers on the side. Just pointing down. Maybe you could also put one on the back. Maybe. And I've just got never brick fence right there. There and there. And that's it for that one. The next one that is the tank type gun. I've got the stairs here and you can see I've used stone stairs instead which in my texture pack are a, a greyish colour. So you could use uh, cobblestone stairs as well if you want to do. So these are just wrapping around just on a 2 by 3 area so just from here to here. And then I've got two full blocks in the middle and then a slab on the back, a slab on the sides, a couple slabs on the side, some grey carpet on the top which you could also have as blue carpet but I found that grey just they just look better and then we just got three pieces of cobblestone wool on the front for the tank version and then for the next one what we've got is same well pretty similar thing here we've got these wrapping around as you can see so this one gets wrapped around this gets wrapped around the whole front part here like that we've got a fence a fence gate which has been pushed out like this and then two fence gates on the front piece like that which looks pretty cool gives yourself a gun and then the only other variation is this ladder which goes up allows you to get up to this gun and, and shoot the hell out of people and then finally this one which um, is probably the worst out of one of them <laughs> just got a stair on the side of each of these pieces and then the rest is is pretty much exactly the same two blocks of light grey wool and then we've got four one, two, three, four cobblestone wool on each side just with a slab on the top and a button a couple of buttons in the back that one's really simple I don't, I don't really like that one I've got to be honest but that's it for the tutorial, so feel free to mess up, kind of around with it, mess around with the colours as well. You know, you can do loads of different colour variations, make a white one and all that kind of stuff. So, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you on the next one.